You're listening to Radio Atlantis. Hello, this is Donovan, and today's feature is my book, The Autobiography of Donovan, The Hurdy Gurdy Man. Most celebrity books uh, of the entertainment world of music, film and TV, they tell the story of the rise from poverty to riches, and my book has that. They also tell the extraordinary fame and success, and all the girlfriends, or all the boyfriends, and all the money and the difficulties of being famous. All that's in the book, but really, my book is much more a reflection of the times, a social documentary of a time raising out of the late 50s in Britain into the 1960s and an extraordinary renaissance period, I call it, and it's also a love story, the love story between Linda and I. Let me read something to you from the book. Prologue I became an outsider when I left home at the age of sixteen. I realised that I resembled what author Colin Wilson had described as the romantic outsider. In this book, I explore the ways in which I faced the interior challenges of this form of rebellion. Then, when I read about Zen Buddhism, the answer to the problem of my alienation seemed to present itself to me. I became a musician and dedicated myself to singing the teachings that can't be taught. And always I am blessed with she who was there in the darkness of the labyrinth, my lady of the lamp, my muse and wife, Linda. You're You're listening listening to Radio Radio Atlantis. Many of my generation were growing up in Britain after the Second World War, so the streets of the main cities were destroyed by the bombing. And I was brought up in Glasgow, so as a kid I played in the broken-down buildings and the ruined tenements with all the other kids. And so it was a very difficult time for everybody, that Second World War, and I got polio as a kid, and that wasn't easy either. But my father read me the poetry of noble thought, and my mother and her sisters sang the songs of the Scottish and Irish tradition, and so I was brought up to be a strong and a courageous young boy. But let me read you a little bit of the beginnings of my life in Glasgow in the 1950s. Childhood Glasgow, 1954. I liked the danger with Harry. I was limping, running with Harry Cadbury across the back of St. Vincent Street. We were in a battle, lobbing tin can grenades over the line at the Anderson gang. The cans were filled with cold ashes from the tenement middens. We made the sound of explosions and felt brave. Lots of the buildings in Glasgow with skeletons from the bombing, Harry and me collected shell cases from the rubble of a world war, spitfires and hurricanes, Messerschmitts and Heingels. Ur we battle over, we climbed the wall into a ruined tenement against the rules. The weak Scottish sun shone on the wallpapered bedrooms open to the sky, the mouths of the dead fireplaces gaping. Thanks for listening. Tune in again for more Donovan features on Radio Atlantis. You have been listening to Radio Atlantis.